Hi, my name is Sharon. I'm a first year engineering student at UBC and I'm super excited to be a new blogger for the Engineering Stories YouTube channel. So to get to know me a little bit better, people have always known me for my love of cats, cooking, my um, interesting collection of stationery, and for my love of science. Now back in high school, my academic background is actually mainly science-based. I was always just a little bit curious about what engineering was. But there was something that was holding me back from going into engineering. I didn't really know what it was. So coming from a family with no one in STEM, no one really told me what an engineer did. <laughs> Look, I can't be the only one who thought that engineers drove trains as a kid. So of course I know, well from personal experience, that sometimes what an engineer does is not always commonly known. So today, I'm here to show you some cool things that engineers do and some things that I learned as an engineering student. This is Engineering Explained in 3 Minutes. So engineering or applied science is a field that involves applying scientific or technical knowledge in order to design, build, and analyze projects that will solve the problems in society. Now the work an engineer does can vary a lot from each discipline, but a lot of it involves calculations and prototyping to try to predict how a design will behave. So of course, a lot of the calculations we do have a lot to do with math and physics. So right now in physics, we're actually learning how to calculate the efficiency of heat engines. Engineers tend to do lots of sketching because it's one of the very first steps in the design process. And we do this either on pen and paper or we make models and drawings on computer software like SolidWorks. For one of my assignments, I've actually used SolidWorks to design a keychain. So designing as an engineer has a lot to do with planning and testing out certain designs, and engineers can use lots of cool technology to do this. So a couple of days ago, I was actually at the engineering open house at UBC, and I got to go into one of the labs that they use for geological engineering in the Earth Sciences building. And they had lots of cool equipment in there. Like some of the equipment were for testing the properties of the soil and the rock, and some of them were to experiment with how certain materials perform under large amounts of stress. So then engineers may use these kinds of equipment to collect data that they can then apply to their design. Something interesting about engineering is that it applies many different areas of study. So whether you like chemistry, biology, physics, mechanics, or more, you're able to find a discipline that suits your interests. So since I'm in first year, I'm mainly learning like the fundamentals like chem, physics, math, and these will teach me the concepts and calculations that I will need to design stuff in the future. So for example, AFSCI 100 teaches us about the engineering design process and it gives us our first experience with designing a project, which is the cardboard chair. What people don't really realize about engineering is that it involves so much communication with people who are affected by the projects. In fact, many engineers actually work for consulting companies. If a company wants to build like a power plant, for example, they may consult engineers about like where to build it, how to build it, what to make it out of, and how to make it the most sustainable. So we learned in AppSci 100 that being able to give a good presentation is super important, not only to pitch our ideas, but also to address the concerns of the public that they may have regarding the project. So communication is a big part of engineering. So if you're currently a high school student and you're looking into studying engineering in the future, I would totally encourage you to go for it because I think it's such an interesting and rewarding career and I think that being an engineering student is so much fun. So I hope you learned a lot from this video and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.